Yo, what's up guys? S Future here in this video checking out Where Were You by Citizen Soldier. What is up guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're checking out Citizen Soldier's brand new song. Last time we checked out by Citizen Soldier was their song featuring Lex Say Nothing. We checked that out a couple weeks ago. Um, a few of you guys let me know in the comments that that song is actually not from the Icarsis album and it was just a standalone single. So I guess this song is actually from the Icarsis album. I could be wrong again though. I'm excited to see what this song sounds like. I'm excited to see what this song is about with a title like Where Were You? This song could be about a couple different things. Um, the first thing that came to mind was like the absence of a parent maybe. Um, I think this song could take place from someone who had a rough life and um, needed someone in their life and they're like, where were you? Um, it could be about something else though, you know, you never really know. The only way to find out what the song is about is to check it out. So without further ado guys, this is Where Were You by Citizen Soldier. Let's get into it. That's the part that hurts. Oh wow. This production is already crazy. Another call unanswered. It's got me losing sleep. And now I'm questioning. Were you ever listening? You know me more than most do. And that's what got so deep. You didn't seem to care. Okay. I showed you all my demons when I was out. Pre chorus. Oh, uh, give me a huge chorus. So glad they got this riff after. Yo, that is one of the best choruses they've ever made. So one sided, cause when you needed me, I never hesitate. But that don't reciprocate. So don't you dare deny it. The trust that you betrayed. What's can articulate? The pull it to come in. I showed you all my demons. I love this pre-chorus too. That's so good. It's got such a summer feel to it. I love how long the chorus is. Guitar solo? Maybe? I don't know. When I was lost in fighting, thought screaming to end the pain. Where were Ooh. you? Where were you? When I was told That's you so me, cool. You you never came. Oh. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you when I was sad? That's fine. All right. Cool. Oh, ooh, I like how the color changed on the on the album art there. All right, guys, that was Where Were You by Sid and the Soldier. That is like I feel like I say this almost every time I react to Sid and the Soldier anymore. But that is one of my favorite CS songs that we've gotten in a while. Something I made a comment about on I think it was the Say Nothing reaction is that these songs from Sid and the Soldier lately have felt so full. They feel finished and done. I feel like a lot of the songs 
on the last two albums have felt kind of like incomplete if that makes sense like they were just thrown together they were missing something like a lot of the songs over the past year or two have been like that but they're on a good streak right now like a long streak of having these long completed full songs that like make me feel feel fulfilled after like i i i'm done with the song and i don't feel like i i'm missing something from it there was a lot of things i loved about this song but the first two takeaways i have is the production and the drumming this is like the best drumming i've heard from cs i don't even know what their drummer's name is but he's always been really fucking talented but this is probably the most standout uh that he's been on a cs song to me at least um all the drumming throughout this whole song the verses the chorus the pre-chorus the bridges all of it just great drumming and uh, like i said the production man i the vocal mixing on jake's vocals was incredible love all the vocal effects in the instrumental the atmosphere created in the instrumental from the production with the electronics and the effects on the instruments this makes such a good atmosphere that fits the theme of the song and i love that the lyric video fits that theme it's really weird how you can hear a song and like see a color if that makes sense like like if you just listen to the song without the video i feel like the color to match it would be like blue because like this i don't know the video matches the song so well it the song just sounds like it would be blue that, that sounds weird but i love the intro to the song with jake's vocals that are kind of in the background with some cool vocal effects on it and we got this really industrial instrumental to set up this song and we drop into a really cool riff but before we drop into that riff i don't know if you guys picked up on that but there was a really cool effect that was added into the mix um it was like a rewind effect i don't know if you guys noticed that but go and listen to the intro to the song and when jake is done singing before they drop into that guitar riff there's this really cool like kind of reverse rewind effect that was such a cool touch and the riff itself was really cool there was some really cool synth work behind that riff that made it so huge and it kind of reminded me of passing soldier albums just with that synth match with that guitar work really reminds me of like this is your sign part two or just other past cs albums i like that huge vibe that riff had we got a really nice first verse and then and really nice pre-chorus i really like the pre-chorus sets up the huge chorus so well and this course man one of my favorite cs courses maybe ever it just it's so well written and so beefy and Cool. I, I'm going back to that, but that that chorus just sounds like I don't know, so perfect. Something I really love about the chorus is, like I said, the drumming. It's just like two-step action in the chorus that gives it this really bright summer feel. It's so energetic and just full of energy. I, I don't know. I really like the chorus matched because because of the drumming and the synth, synth work, and of course Jake's vocals and lyrics um, and the guitar, obviously. Jake sounds so strong in this song. Honestly, like these last couple songs have been like jake's strongest i think his voice sounds so full and powerful and he's not like holding back at all he sounds really just professional i think jake's really in his bag for this upcoming album after the second chorus we got a bridge which i was assuming would lead to a like a guitar solo maybe or something like that but it actually ended up going back to the chorus and usually i'd be kind of upset about that it really fit in this song some like the chorus like this song's strongest part is this chorus like this song is the chorus like when you listen to this song it's gonna be because you want to hear that chorus that shit is so huge and powerful why wouldn't they you know do a bridge back to the chorus to end the song i mean like a lot of the time i'd be upset because i don't i've always not understood why bands will have their second chorus have a bridge just to go back into the same chorus you know i've always kind of been bothered by that especially in reacting to music but um Honestly, I, I, I enjoyed it here. It didn't bother me. It just, the chorus is too fucking good not to want to hear it again. And not to mention, I'm not upset because that bridge was so beautiful. Like, it, it was awesome. Overall, man, I have no critiques about this song. It was honestly a perfect CS song. Let me know what you guys thought about Where Were You by Sitting Soldier down in the comments down below. Like I said, this is one of my favorite CS songs of recent time. It's fucking awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for future CS reactions we've checked out every cs song in the world and we're going to continue to do so so if you guys want to see those future cs reactions make sure you guys subscribe and turn post notifications on so you guys do not miss those videos i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the future